What is up, YouTube? This is the Keller 101 here. Also known as the Ethan Webbs, Ethan Everhart, and I am back. I'm not dead. I'm not gone. I'm still here to make videos and hopefully to entertain you. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have been absent from YouTube for about the last six, almost seven years. Good God, it's been a long time. Um, but I am back. Uh, Again, for those of you who don't know, uh, about six, seven years ago, I used to record videos on my laptop. Uh, but, uh, again, about six, seven years ago, my laptop's hard drive crashed. Uh, not, uh, not at all related to the um, uh, <clears throat> uh, blunt force trauma from a uh, uh, particularly frustrating Hearthstone Arena match. No, no, no. Not at all related to that. I have no idea. You know, just uh, clumsy, you know, fell down the stairs somehow. I'd, no idea what happened otherwise, but, uh, what were we talking about again? Oh, right. So, either way, uh, the laptop was out of commission, and I could not record a video on it. I attempted to record, uh, uh, videos on, on, on the desktop, but for whatever reason, the audio, uh, the audio equipment I used at the time just... It didn't work. It wouldn't work with the desktop. I'd attempt to record a video and my voice was just completely drowned out. And I, I, I still don't know to this day exactly why it wouldn't record. But the best way I can describe it is it sounded like that the uh, the plugin uh, the the plugin was basically recording uh, the the headphone jack was basically recording or it was hearing. The movement of the electricity in the desktop. I, I know that sounds weird, but uh, I had a similar experience on my laptop whenever I record when the laptop was plugged in. So, as far as I can tell, I assume that was the issue. That desktop is a desktop; it's constantly plugged in, and so it's recording the sound of that. Um, so it just it would not work. As I said, I tried to record a desktop, but my voice was completely drowned out. You couldn't hear anything. So you may say that's an improvement, fuck you, um, but it just would not work. So, as, as you can also see, you can, can see about six or seven years ago, I attempted to record a video, record myself playing Hearthstone. And at the time, I had, I thought, okay, I can't record audio equipment, maybe I'll, or I can't record audio, so let's try YouTube's annotation system, you know, to add some quips with that. Uh, some of you may be asking, annotation system, what's that? Uh, for those of you asking, please stop making me feel old. Um, yeah, for those of you that don't know, yep, yeah, nope, st still can't say that, still still feel old. But yes, for those of you that somehow don't know, YouTube's annotation system was effectively a way to edit your YouTube videos post-upload to YouTube. Kind of. Uh, editing may be a bit of a uh, stretch. It may be a bit of a stretch to call it editing because the, the annotations are really just kind of glorified sticky notes, but a little more complex than that. Uh, it was something you could put on your YouTube video, uh, anywhere on the YouTube video, and add little, little notes, again, like a sticky note. Uh, most common way I could think that it was beneficial would be in like uh, song lyrics. If someone uploaded a video of song lyrics and they accidentally uh, misspell a word or they put in the wrong lyric, uh, post upload you could add an annotation on top of that so, and type in the corrected lyric. So as long as someone has their annotations turned on, that's what they'd see. They'd see the annotation instead of the misheard lyric. Um, of course, if you had them your annotation turned off then it did you no good and people would comment uh hey you uh, you misspelled so and so or you uh that's not how the lyrics are but anyways back then i don't think there was really much of a reason to turn off annotations but again moving on uh there were some more creative ways people use annotations such as i know a uh, mystery guitar man had a video which was i think basically make me play keyboard or something which uh it was him sitting in front of a keyboard and on each key on the keyboard he had an annotation you click on that annotation and it would take you to a portion of the video where he's playing that note so as long as your internet speed was fast enough you could effectively make him play the keyboard and it was a cool little feature there okay um 
Uh, another one was, and I can't remember all of who was involved with it. I know Dodger was, so I think her channel's name is Heart to Heart. Uh, Jesse Cox was involved. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know beyond that, as I never got a chance to finish the entirety of the interactive video. But uh, in it, they uh, it was yeah, it was an interactive YouTube series where I think it took place in a zombie apocalypse, if uh, memory serves, where. You would uh, have one video, you'd go through it, and at a certain point, usually at the end of the video, you'd be given a couple options. You know, uh, let's say the zombies are attacking, you can save either Dodger or Jesse, but you can't t save both of them. At that point, two annotations would pop up, two or three. One would be like, uh, knocked over the microphone. <laughs> Great return to YouTube, knocking over the microphone. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, uh, given a couple options, either A, go right save jesse b go left save dodger and you get a choice to click on one of those annotations and it would then take you to a video that corresponded to your choice so you basically again it was an interactive series where you chose how the how the story story went based on the choices and it was it was a really cool feature uh, uh the other one that I'll, I'll mention was and this one was kind of clever as well on uh, Good Mythical Morning with Rhett and Link. Uh, they had and still have a video uploaded called uh, Put Some Bacon on It. Uh, cool little music video. Recommend you check it out. Um, back in the day when annotation... God, still feel old. Uh, back in the day... <laughs> six, seven years ago. Probably longer than that, but at least six or seven years ago. Uh, the annotation system... You could, Not only could you uh, put sticky notes on the videos, but you could also change the color of the sticky note. And in this case, you could turn them uh, completely transparent and invisible. Now you may be asking, you know, what's, what's the use of that? Well, on this particular video, the put some bacon on it, uh, with the annotation being invisible, uh, the only way you see this is if you happen to mouse over it during the video, and they put it in specific spots that you would click on, and it would take you to an... Uh, if you clicked on the annotation, or if you found and clicked on the annotation, it would take you to an unlisted kind of behind the scenes video. So it's like, it's a little secret for for fans to find. Like I know on, there was a scene in there where I believe it was Rhett. You only saw his hand, but I, I assume it was Rhett because of the context of the video. Uh, Rhett would, would, had dropped his phone in the toilet. Um, and if you clicked on the annotation around the toilet at that time in the video, it would take you to an unlisted video of a behind the scenes where it shows several outtakes of him dropping his phone in the toilet um it's kind of silly but it was a clever use of the the annotations um a con to this is that early smosh videos i remember god this was frustrating where they would uh take that invisible annotation and stretch it out over the entire video so you load up a Smosh video uh, and click on the video to pause it, but instead of the video, well, the video would pause, but it would then also take you to their YouTube channel and a little pop-up box say, hey, you want to subscribe to Smosh? And it was on like almost every single one of their old videos. And yeah, that, that, that admittedly was a bit frustrating with the annotation system, but overall, the pros largely outweighed the cons and it was just it was a cool little feature that you know not everyone used but those that used them i felt used them in extremely creative ways and again uh getting back on track going back to what i was talking about uh, again uh six seven years ago when i couldn't record on my laptop i attempted to record on the desktop uh, getting rid of audio commentary, I just played Hearthstone and decided, you know, post-edit, I'll add little annotations to try and add little quips here and there of what I thought was uh, clever, but uh, uh, looking back at it, uh, feels more like cringe than cleverness, but, uh, you know, six or seven years younger, uh, they felt more clever than not, but, eh, well, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. so, um, but... No, six, seven, uh, at, at some point, uh, YouTube has decided, you know what, those little uh, annotation things, yeah, no, nobody uses those, so they got rid of them. And instead, now they have those end title two videos they recommend to you that, you know, cover up about a third of the screen and you keep, there's no way of getting rid of them. Why? Why Why? why they do that? I, 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 don't, I don't understand, but either way. They did it, they got rid of the annotation, so now my Hearthstone video is just sitting up there with me playing Hearthstone rather poorly, 
really no reason for it to be up there, but I don't believe in deleting videos, so it's got to remain there. My shame shall forever be on YouTube. <laughs> but anyways, where's that? How does that lead all to this? So yeah, I couldn't record videos. I couldn't record the audio and comment and uh, annotations were gone. So like, what do I do? Well, um, of course, obviously, the obvious option is to get my uh, hard drive fixed and get it uh, solved. But, you know, I can still play games. I don't have to record videos, so... Well, procrastination's a bitch, and evidently I was in love. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, six, fast forward, six, seven years later of just sitting on it and doing nothing with it. Finally... I've gotten my own desktop here. I've gotten a new microphone because obviously you can hear me. Obviously, I fixed the issue. Well, correction, I didn't fix the issue. I found a new microphone, so now this one works. Um, and as you can as you can see here, uh, I've got auction not included loaded up. It's a it's a game that I can't. I don't know if I discovered it during the lockdown or if I just rediscovered it during the lockdown. But definitely during the lockdown, I played this the hell out of this game. I absolutely loved it. It was amazing. Um, but I had planned on coming back to YouTube playing Subnautica, a game that I've been really excited to dive into. Pun entirely intentional. But. Um, well, six or seven years have gone past since I first discovered Subnautica, and I've seen practically all of Jacksepticeye's gameplay. So, I, pretty much everything you come to react to, I've already seen. Um, I know the entire story. I know about the Sea Dragon Leviathan. I know about the Sea Empress. I know about the... Yes, I know about the Reaper Leviathan. I know about all of that stuff. So, I feel like playing Subnautica, uh, reacting to Subnautica, would be disingenuous because... I, I've seen it all. I, I know about it all. Uh, now, that's not to say that the Reaper Leviathan won't still scare the ever That's not to say that the Reaper Leviathan will not still scare the ever living shit out of me, but, um, yeah. So, uh, my plan had been, since I knew all that stuff, I had planned to come back to YouTube to play Subnautica and just explore every square inch of the, of, of the game I could. But, thinking on it harder, I realized that I'm not very good with commentary yet, so that probably was not going to be the best idea. So, um, instead, I am going to be playing Oxygen Not Included here. Uh, now, this video itself is just going to be an intro, a uh, channel update, uh, I'm back, I'm uploading now kind of video here, but um, I will be in the next, uh, as soon as I finish this video here, I'm going to be uh, recording my first set of gameplay for, for this game. And so this won't be just a pointless uh, channel update. I will be uploading gameplay as soon as I'm finished with this video here. But anyways, uh, hopefully you guys are uh, as excited as I am. Um, and uh, again, I hope to see you guys again. Uh, I hope to... Ho hopefully my commentary will be uh, uh, up to par, will be entertaining enough uh, to keep you guys around. Um, but if not, you know... Uh, it is what it is, uh, but if any of you are watching this video here, um, please leave comments, let me know what it is you want to see me do, what it is you... Yeah, just leave comments here, get a discussion going, let me know what you'd like to see, just say hi, just say something. Um, it's great to be back, I, I've missed actually, uh, I've missed being here on YouTube, and I hope to see you guys again very soon, but... In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.